Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, hi, my name is Emmanuel. I'm a graphic designer. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a quick tutorial on how to create this body heat thermal effect in Photoshop using the gradient map tool. Now, this effect is used here in Skepta's Ignorance is Bliss album cover and Color Studio also used this effect in well, Skepta was performing no sleep. So I think it was pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in Photoshop. Pretty simple. And yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new today. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and we'll get started now. So we are in Photoshop right now. So this is what it's gonna look like at the end. So I'm just gonna delete that and that. I'm gonna import this image, which is Travis Scott, that's the one I'm gonna use for today's example. Okay, so once you have everything, you're gonna go down here and click on gradient map. Now this will turn your image to black and white. Make sure you have reversed checked so then it inverts it. This is where all the magic kind of happens. So we wanna put five of these colors here. I'll leave them all in the description. So the first um, color marker should be 283283 with a positioning of zero. The next one um, should be 195B7E. And that's the oh, I'm very slow at this. And then don't forget the positioning, that should be around 19. So the next one is the E22, two, two, um, 326. Uh, and then you hit OK to get that. Make sure the positioning is right. That's 41%. Um, and then the second last one is F1, D113. And that basically almost got the effect done. So hit okay, make sure the positioning is 77%. So that's the location. And the last one's 100% location and the code is EAF4DF. And that should give you that white ish color. There we go. Perfect. So make sure you save it so you don't have to keep repeating these uh, color codes. And once you have that, just hold Option and in between the two, click. And that should create a clipping mask just for that image so the background doesn't get affected. All right, so we are done with that project. Like I said in the beginning, it was that easy. So I will leave the color codes in the description along with their location on the uh, gradient bar. So you guys could just copy and paste it onto your Photoshop uh, project. Now, if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos, make sure you comment that below. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And if you're not subscribed, Come on, man, subscribe. I'm trying to make a family here. Nah, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. But yeah, thank you for watching, bye.